Alrighty guys, so we're coming here with another video today. So you guys asked for it again and you guys are always seeming to enjoy the content. So this is another one of my videos that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And don't worry if you guys are asking in the comment section about the BIOS tutorial video. That's on the way. This is just an just as something extra that I wanted to add as well because I figured this is also something that's super important and super useful for a lot of different people. And so what I wanted to show you guys today was how you can dramatically reduce your RAM and memory usage without actually needing to cause a whole bunch of other problems and wanted to clear up some misconceptions about some certain things that people do when they use this type of software. So a really common software that's very similar to this is known as ISLC or Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. And what it basically does is it clears essentially two different parts of your computer's memory. It clears the cached memory, and then it clears the stored memory, which is sort of different. Think of the two as like cache is really fast, and then stored is used for more slower stuff. The standby list is the stored memory, whereas the cache list is something very fundamentally different. And so what I wanted to describe it, and this is how you can tell what your standby list is versus what your actual like physical memory cache is. And so the thing that a lot of people get wrong, especially when they use like intelligent standby list cleaner, is that they don't actually do it correctly. You never almost ever want to clear your standby list because what happens is that it immediately causes all of the stuff that was put into the storage of your memory to reallocate itself. And I can actually demonstrate this in another way too. So if I open up task manager here, now the cache memory is what in this app refers to as the physical memory. And it also is referred to as the working set memory. And so if I scroll up to the top here, you'll notice that the disk usage is very, very slow. Obviously I have a little bit here just because of the disk usage for the NVIDIA um, shadow play, but everything else is really quiet. And we're already only at 7% memory usage. So that's a pretty good amount, right? Well, what you can do in this software is if you select the working set and the system working set and then modified page list and combined memory lists, this will dramatically reduce your memory usage and it won't cause as a dramatic thrashing of your disk and your RAM and your memory. And a lot of people get this wrong because they think that oh, um, the, the two are essentially the same and uh, I don't want any memory usage. No, you want a little bit for all of the other processes that are running, but you want to clear up that cache because that cache will frequently have um, incorrect files, duplicate files. There's a reason why the, in the guide videos that you watch all over YouTube, they say, you know, go into app percentage, app data, and then they go something like this and they tell you to clear this folder with a bunch of other stuff. But that's not actually useful because in terms of what's actually happening is that it's just going to reallocate that straight back into your memory. And so what this application does, it's known as memory duct, is it allows you to clear that. And so what I'm going to do here is show you guys in a live demonstration. So we can see that the disk usage is fairly low across the board, but our memory usage is at 7%. And even when I have almost nothing open right now, all I have is just a few processes, just NVIDIA broadcast and nothing else. So watch this guys, we can smash it right here. We just click that, run it one or two times. Now the disk, the disk usage is a little high. Now give it about one or two seconds and now it's gone. It's back to where it was, but we shaved off a massive amount of our CPU memory usage. The reason why mine isn't seen as such impressive is that I have 32 gigs of memory. So I have half the percentage in an actual demonstration that would be almost six to 12% memory usage that you could save. And a lot of people forget this when they actually go and play their games is that they don't clear the cache. And that is a huge problem because when you don't clear the cache, that can cause a lot of interference with games where they have a lot of different services running in the background and map caches, windows caches for different files and things. And so that's just a super easy way to do it, right? Well, now let's go back into there and let's, let's do a live demonstration of just the standby list and then the other standby list without priority. Okay, so now we have all of that. And remember guys, this is the virtual memory. Virtual memory is essentially stored memory that is different from your regular memory. It is not as beneficial or impactful to your actual performance. Stored memory is good. You want to have a few things in your stored memory. You don't want to have a lot of stuff in your cached physical memory or your essentially memory usage in Windows. And so I'm going to clear it right here. 
screen is a little bit slow, right? It locks up and then and, and then what happens is that it actually can cause a freeze of your entire system. It locks up your system for significantly longer. And if we look at our disk usage, it's across the board being activated. Not only does it take a lot longer, but if you were to do this, which is what Intelligent Standby List Cleaner does, not MemReduct, this can take nearly three to four times as long. And some of these processes still haven't gone away. When we cleared just the regular amount without the standby list, our memory and disk usage were relatively the same, but our disk usage in terms of how long it's taking. And these little micro writes don't seem like a lot, like oh, 0.2 megabytes per second. But when you have 10 of them all running at the same time, that's gonna thrash your CPU because it's going to force your CPU to have to interrupt whatever you're playing and actually access all of those different processes. And look, it's still not done. It's still writing to the memory, even after all of that time. So this is why you guys want to use this software rather than Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, because this essentially has a bit more feature rich and it allows you to customize it with a bunch of different things. So you wanna have just those three selected. You can have the system working set selected, but I generally don't like to do it. So yeah, guys, I figured I would show that for you guys in a live demonstration. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please share it with other people so that they, we stop trying to use these standby list cleaners that don't actually help your performance and actually hurt your performance. Whereas MemReduct and this software can help a ton with that. And the lower memory usage you have while idle and when you start a game, the better off your system is going to be because they're going to be able to actually have some functioning, low priority, stable, quiet memory. And so, yeah, guys, this is also something important if you want to go and do like all of the BIOS tweaks as well. This is stuff that can interfere with your actual overclocking performance. And again, guys, just look at how long it's taken for this to still get done with the disk usage. About 10 to 30 processes are all being used, just thrashing away at the memory, and that just takes forever. So yeah, guys, like and subscribe, favorite, share this video. I hope you guys found this informative and useful. The BIOS guide will be coming out shortly. Um, yeah, guys, but take it easy. My name's Savaterix, and I'm out.